It's been three months since a two year old Seminole County boy drowned at an in home daycare pool. His family just found out yesterday that no charges will be filed. But as Gail Pascal Brown reports, his grandmother is vowing to make sure her grandson not forgotten and other children are protected. He had the best smile in the world. He had the most infectious giggle. He just made every day brighter. Two year old Wesley Seth Rowley was Libby Beatty's only grandson and her daughter's only child. On May 9th, he fell into the pool at the Atkins Family Daycare Home in Chuliota. Wesley later died at the hospital. The medical examiner determined the cause of death to be accidental drowning. Wesley just pushed the gate open and walked in. She left the children unattended outside to bring another child inside to use the bathroom. The state attorney's office said there was insufficient evidence to proceed with criminal charges. We went to the daycare home, but no one answered. To protect other children, Libby Beatty is pushing for Wesley Seff's law for at-home daycare regulations. Some of the safeguards include automated external defibrillators and proper training for all daycare staff, appropriate safeguards around the pool, and a two-barrier system. Yes, she had the mesh fence. He was able to push through the mesh fence. If she had an alarm in the pool, she would have heard him the second he hit the water and he could still be here today. She adds there has to be additional staff. Just a body so that there is somebody watching these children so that never a child is left unattended. She started the petition three weeks after Wesley's passing and has more than 16,000 signatures. Even if it's one more child that we're able to save, it's one more family that doesn't have to go through what we are. That's what's important. She hopes that Wesley Seff's law will soon become law. In Seminole County, I'm Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.